Hi everybody, I'm just uh, here to show you one of the final videos for the Multisensory Electronic Learning Board. Uh, I have added a final stretch goal. If we hit uh, $7,200, then any pledge over $17 will receive uh, the parts to breadboard this circuit up. The PCB won't come with it, but I'll show you a video on how to put it together on your own breadboard. Now, what this does is, is uh, this is the only software element in the entire project. Everything on the learning board is hardware only. So the only setback that I found on the uh, sensor learning board is the fact that there's no way to toggle uh, toggle states. And you might want to toggle states to control a relay or the active buzzer. So in this video I'm going to quickly show you that and if that stretch goal is hit then I'll be going over some more videos in detail including how to put this together on a breadboard, uh, the circuit diagram, how to hook it up to your uh, learning board and I'll even create a few project videos that include this little guy. So let me just quickly show you a couple demonstrations of what it does. There are two modes of programming. One directly designed for the infrared sensor so that you can turn things on and off with your TV remote control and uh, the second mode is designed specifically for uh, for other outputs that that will allow for you to toggle states. Now the infrared sensor sends thousands of pulses a second and so the software is a little bit different for the infrared sensor but uh, mode 2 which we're in right now I, I can take the output of the 555 timer which is in, mo in monostable mode and toggle states at the output here. Now there's a little pin right here that you can actually splice to but that's also an LED representation on another I.O. port so it doesn't take current from the main output to tell you that the output has toggled. I'll press the 555 timer again and it toggles states off. Now I can use pretty much any of the circuits that we've done in our project videos to hook up to this simple circuit. And again, while you will not receive a breadboard or a printed circuit board, you will receive, if the stretch goal is hit, all of the parts to make this little circuit and the schematic and all of the information you're going to need via video. So what if I show you uh, mode 2, or mode 1 rather, sorry. So I've changed the orientation of the jumper to mode 1. I've taken the output of the infrared sensor and connected it to my input. Plug in the LED, or plug in the power supply. The LED should blink once, telling us we're in mode 1. So I'm going to take my infrared remote. I'm going to stand way back, press the button. Toggles on. Toggles off. Toggles on. Toggles off. Now what if I wanted to put my buzzer on this? The buzzer is easily interfaced. I've got the po uh, power and ground line hooked up to the buzzer and I've got the output uh, connected to the buzzer. The uh, buzzer is active low so when that LED, go LED goes off the output is zero volts activating the buzzer. So let me just stand back again. I can stand back eight or so meters as long as I'm pointed at the infrared sensor on the learning board and So that's kind of annoying, but it's kind of neat just to show you. Why don't we hook up our uh, relay attachment? Similarly, I've got my power lines to the relay board. I've got my I.O. port connected to the input of the uh, relay. And I can contr control AC devices now with this. So when the LED is off, the relay turns on. Let's watch. Listen for the click. Wirelessly. So, again... If the stretch goal is hit, I will be expediting a video talking about this little circuit, uh, what will come with it, uh, all of the components, how to hook it up, how to interface it with the learning board, uh, and yeah, so uh, if the stretch goal is not hit, I will make a, an option for you to pay a couple extra dollars through PayPal for it if you're interested. If not, don't worry about it, I'm just glad I was able to show off uh, this little uh, extra component set. And uh, thanks all. The Kickstarter's in its last uh, few hours, and uh, can't believe that it's made it so far. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate the support. Thanks to everyone, and have a great day.